All right, everybody, welcome back to Old Town Mariposa 2.0. Let's bring in Robert Borchard. Bobby, you're back, and look who you brought. Nice hat. No, no hats. Now, look who you brought, my, my, my good friend Don Costa. How are you, buddy? Good to see you. Costa Levo's olive oil, but not just any type of olive oil. Oh, my God, really good stuff. Tell them about yourself. Uh, well, the first question normally folks might ask is, you know, why did I get into olive oil to begin with? Um, and the main, the big reason is for the sake of one person, that was my doctor. Uh, a number of years ago, it was discovered, of course, I had a cholesterol issue. And so along with the uh, non-prescription items he said I should take, and number one on it was olive oil. No kidding. Yeah. And so then, uh, as far as your foods are concerned, and so then, uh, and in that, with the olive oil, is also balsamic. So, okay, and there's a lot of reasons why, and it's not a health show, but, you know, they're loaded with antioxidants. Uh, they're loaded with vitamin K and vitamin E, which is very, very good for uh, not only your blood, but your cardiovascular system, etc. You're et cleaning out the... You're the, cleaning right. out the tubes, if right. you will. And so then, uh, along with, you know, proper medication and diet and so on and so forth, it, really what you're getting back to is a Mediterranean diet. And so that, which brought me back to when I was growing up as a kid with, uh, in my family, which are, they're very Italian. And, um, and so then that brought us back to why we were, yeah, I know. And um, (laughs) why we were actually focusing in. And that's why we decided to, uh, um, you know, to go and and start with the actual olive oils uh, and raise them. We grow our own. We're in Mariposa. We're small boutique uh, type size in size. And primarily our focus here that is this, is that for 32 years we lived in the business community of Los Angeles, and thank God we came back to you know, God's country here, but um, the, uh, the whole hustle and bustle with most folks is that they're busy working, they go through an entire work day, and then they come home, the last thing they want to do is spend hours cooking. And so consequently the, um, you know, the, uh, their, uh, the recipes or their, or their diets suffer somewhat, they go to more fast foods, etc. So what we were attempting to do is, uh, is uh, 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 allow the home cook who works, and believe me, I know raising families is, is work also. So whether it's for the housewife or the house dad or whomever it is, to make it really easy for them to be able to prepare foods, uh, very nourishing foods, and give them a lot of options in which it's very simple to you know, prepare a, a decent meal uh, for what they're doing. And so then what we focus in on, um, consequently, is, is not only just the straight EVO, which is extra virgin olive oil. We have two kinds, actually. We have the uh, Arbiquinia, and we also have a Manzanillo. And what two I, different kinds of olives. Olives is what we grow. And um, so, and then, but the rest, we really focused in on flavors. Which is, which is crazy because mm. I never thought about putting flavors in olive oil. I think everybody has olive oil at home these days, oh, but no. with, with all the flavors. And, and I, I'm, I, I'm curious as we go through them, mm-hmm. to one, taste them, but to two, tell me how you use them in your cooking. Oh, yeah. Well, there are several things here. Number one is, is that uh, to, to think of is that normally when folks, you, when you say, I've got a, I have a flavored olive oil, they think, Oh, it's infused, and there's two different connotations. Number one is an infused olive oil is, first thing to remember, though, is that these are all California, 100% California olive oil. And that's extremely important to uh, distinguish it versus a lot of imports that you find at some box stores that are actually diluted a little bit with, like, canola and different other oils, so it's not pure oil, and it's not actually extra virgin olive oil. Does the label still say olive oil on those? Oh, yeah, it still says olive oil on there, but if you look in the, uh, you know, if you look in the uh, little label back there, you'll see where some of them are actually diluted with canola. So, especially foreign imports, where they have no regulations. Here in California, there's very strict regulations as to what you call extra virgin olive oil, which we are. So, um, at any rate, so you were mentioning about the different flavors. The other thing, uh, and I'll talk about those, but the other thing that we've added uh, as a compliment, because being raised, we we not only had the olive oil, but we also had the balsamics. In fact, I I, I must have been in my uh, teenager before I knew there was actually something other than 
vinegar, some other kind of vinegar other than a balsamic vinegar. My, 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 my parents had a, had a little wine keg out in the garage, mm -hmm. and the, the bottles of wine that didn't get finished, you know, that happens, right? <laughs> yeah. they, they'd pour that in there, uh -huh. and it was always, uh, go out and get me a cup of the, of the vinegar at dinner time. For, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you're making the vinegars also now. Uh, well, we don't make them, okay? Uh, the vinegars or their, our balsamics are all imported from Modena, Italy. Nice. Okay, and so then because there's a very and specific you, and you have some connections with Italy, yes? Uh, a little bit of connection, yeah. My, what he's talking about is my great grandparents came from Bari, Italy. And if you know anything about the uh, geography, Bari, Italy is right at the back boot of Italy, and it's right in, next to the Adriatic, and it's one of two large agricultural zones. In fact, that zone, which is called Pugla, is uh, the number one great uh, olive producing uh, region in Italy. Uh, but along with that is also a lot of fruits and nuts and vegetables and so on. And that's what the kind of diet that I was raised on, as well as seafood. The reason I brought that up is last <laughs> night, and, and uh, we, we did a little cooking show over at the coin. Um, it, was, it, was, it was kind of fun. Uh, and uh, Don got into talking about his heritage and his connection with Italy and, and whatnot. And, and uh, uh, you know, I didn't love this guy right off the bat, but I, after listening to that, uh, that little narrative about Italy, uh, we have a, a short clip of that, uh, that show, and maybe we could show that. But uh, this is Walt Heburn's class and, and, uh, and a little background. We're going to be seeing more of this, and we're going to be posting this, and I hope maybe sometime to bring this uh, on as part of our, our show. But maybe we can watch this little clip and... and uh, Go ahead and let it run, Mike. Down. Well, that looks like it was a lot of fun. It was a hoot. It, it looks like you guys hoot. tasted a lot of olive oil. <laughs> it was we an did. absolute pleasure. Good, let's do that too. And, yeah. and, <laughs> <learned, laughs> and we learned about Italy. I, I know about Italy. I'm going <laughs> to taste some, more, some <laughs> olive oil. Yeah, okay. Was, no. Well, the best thing about uh, that, that shoot last night was working with those high schoolers, you know, with the high school students. They were an absolute pleasure. Uh, to work with and so then they were able to I think hide most of my mistakes so that was really neat so the one thing that I would I do want to point out is what we're going to start off with is a good basil all right and what I wanted to point out about our basil our lemon okay our jalapeno also is, is that uh, what we do is we this is not infused okay what we or in our garlic what we actually do is take the basil leaf and put it into the press when the olives are being pressed. This is actually pressed in with the olives. Okay. Okay. Ready. So you're ready? All right. So here's a. Uh, That's a here's lot. I mean, can you, are you supposed to drink that <laughs> much? Basil, well, you can share it's, it's okay. We God, go. We're not sharing them. He can handle it. <laughs> All right. Sure. Mm, it's good. Yeah. It's delicious. Good. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, it's Myers. It's earthy. Uh, yeah, I mean the um, uh, the uh, uh, basil. Yeah, it's so exceptional. So what, what what do you use the basil flavored with? Uh, what what uh, particular recipe? Well, what's the right on some pasta? You go. Right, Chuck's got it. You yeah. can put it right on the pasta. Cheese. You can put it on uh, uh, chicken, fish. Yeah. You know, put it. Yeah, goat cheese. Uh, some of the what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, actually mention a couple of these really quick, and then I'm actually going to do some pairings. You're going to, so, you're going to synergize I'm them? I'm going to synergize okay. it. Here's our lemon. Okay, Bob, here's the lemon. You didn't know lemon. I knew all these words that there go with this, go. Did, right? I try the lemon. You're much more sophisticated yeah. than I. My first impression of you. Ooh. Nice hat. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, that's great on, on fish. Great in chicken, the same thing. A couple it's of things. In a salad. You know, oh yeah, in a salad. The, uh, lettuce. Right. Well, some of the things that folks want to remember, though, when they're using oil, especially uh, uh, olive oils, 
is that unlike canola oil or some of the other ones, is that is to watch when you're cooking it is what's called smoke points. Right. Okay. What is, what is the, what is the, the smoke, smoke point? The smoke point of this? extra virgin olive oil is around 325 to 350. So we cook with it. However, you cook it at a low heat and just lasts longer. But also, aren't you supposed to put it in a pan that's already warm, though? Yeah, already warm. So, so it's you don't a catch fry it. There. Right. You right. can't have it too hot, but you're supposed to throw it in when it's warm. Yeah. Well, after years of experience, it's pretty easy to do. So oh, what is this? Okay. Did I just that was get good. Blood orange. That, I Here's taste blood it. orange. Okay. I knew it. Now this is. I'm going to pair. Mm. I'm going to show you something, and this is what. Um, where our balsamics come in, I'm going to pair the blood orange with our coconut balsamic oil. Getting all crazy on coconut. us, Don. Yeah. And I'm going to try and give you this. And as a matter of fact, now, a couple let, of ways. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Is it okay for a guy to drink this much olive oil in one sitting? Oh, absolutely. I, I want to check your, right, right? you know, the best thing to do is check your cholesterol after the show. I bet you it's gone down 50 points. <laughs> Good. There you go. Take some of that. Now that is uh, our blood orange and the coconut balsamic. Wow, we. Okay, not only do flavor. you use this great for like uh, spinach else. salads, uh, fruit salads, but we actually on on uh, yes last night on Bob's show is I actually made a mayonnaise uh, recipe with the uh, blood orange olive oil and the coconut balsamic. It's, it's, it, you and know what, the, the balsamic just jumps out of there. It's just like, jumps you, get, you get the olive oil and there's a bam! Yeah, and, it's and, and, really, and the really funny good. thing was that watching people taste taste all of this and we were arguing over who's going to get to lick the bowl. Uh, it was, <laughs> He's a tiger. It, it was, um, it was, it, this, this is the best dressing, and there were so many different things. You got to see our cooking show. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it, right. Well, this uh, the uh, spread or mayonnaise that I made with our blood, our, our our blood orange olive oil and our coconut balsamic. You could use it as a spread, like mayonnaise spread. You can also use it as a dipping with marinated vegetables. chicken in that. Oh well, exactly, marinate chicken. Uh, you put a little bit of uh, cornstarch on it and then put mm. it into you this. It sounds like I gotta get up there for the and, next and cooking actually show. Actually, layer it on Where and then we put we it gotta, into. We gotta get out of here. It's, it, 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 it's getting, it's getting well, way too have, long. You have to get out of here. <laughs> now, 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 Don, I want to thank you. Oh, for thank you, Chuck. So it was really awesome. nice. Bobby, it's always so good to see you. I can't wait to, to see where you're going to take me next week in Old Town Mariposa. <laughs> it, 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 You'll have a good time. <laughs> I can't wait. Hey, we're going to take a quick commercial break, but we'll be right back on the buzz. Stick around.